In our session, what we learned is how to create a custom analytical query and how to get this, you know, um, the how how to mention the rows, columns, and your know, fill uh, define filters in the custom analytical query. So today, what we are going to learn is how to enable the key and text property in the custom analytical query. Okay, so in this uh, one, for example, if you see the company code here in the company code column, what we are getting is only key. Right, uh, and if we want to enable the key and text, which generally there is an option here display. If we go for display here, we will get you know description only. But you see, even if I get have description only, nothing is coming. If we have the key and text property enabled for this column, and when we select the company code and go for this display, it will show the other options like here, um, you know, ID and description. All these will be enabled. At this point of time, it is not enabled because such implementation is not yet done in the backend CDS. Okay, today we will learn how to implement that. Now, uh, what is the source for this, uh, you know, custom analytical query? The source for this custom analytical query, I can see from the general tab. Okay, if I go here, the source for this is uh, GI SBAT AC Docker Cube 1. So, I am going into the into my uh, backend uh, CDS view. Okay, this is the CDS view. Here, if we see, the, this is the company code column and I have a text column separately. But whenever we want this key and text enabled for the company code, in such cases, we don't need this text separately, okay? And how this is coming? Uh, first, we need to go for this company code master data CDS view. So in our case, the company code master data CDS view is JDI SMED company code MD. So right click here and navigate to, so it will open the company code master data. So in this CDS view, if you see here, whatever I defined, everything is plain from the T001 table. So in this uh, master data CDS view, I need to apply some special annotations to make this uh, possible, like key and text possible. The first thing is for the text column in the CDS view, I need to write a semantic semantics text semantic. I need to apply semantics dot text as true. So it means uh, this is a text column. What I am mentioning is, and this text is for what? This is the key. Okay, so I like the right object model dot text means for this particular company code. What is the text column? Is text dot element. So the text element is nothing but company code uh, name. So before I am giving here now, uh, let, but let's do one thing. Let's give some good names here. For BUKRS, I am defining it as a company code. And BUTXT, I define it as a company code text. Okay. Or as a company code name. Okay. Now I am giving this company code name column as a text element for my company code. Okay. Like this, we need to uh, define. And land one is nothing but country. So I am giving here country because uh, in next I will tell about country column. Okay. So activate. Mm, what is error here? Okay. So because I am changing the column names here and this particular CDS view is already consumed in cube one. Now there will be an inconsistency in this CDS view. So for that reason, it is showing the error message in the uh, dependent uh, CDS views. So, okay. For now I am activating it. This was activated. Now go to this AC Docker cube one and uh, remove this text column because uh, we are indicating key and text in one, co one uh, single column itself. And um, here in the join condition, I need to write company code. This CDS view we already seen in our earlier session and how we created this association and everything. Okay. So select uh, to, 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 to. AC Docker. What is error message here? BU text is still used to production. AC Docker. Okay. So uh, you see uh, it is giving problem because I removed this uh, TXT column from this uh, CDS view, but uh, there is a Fiori uh, custom analytical query already created where I am consuming this BUTXT column. Okay, so first of all, I, re I have to remove the um, existence from here. So this is the text column. Let's remove this uh, field from this uh, CDS view and save it. If I do so, then um, what happened? The relation between this uh, custom analytical query and the back end, uh, you know, that part for that particular column will be removed. Then I can do the activation.
So now, so I have a warning here. Here, what it is saying, the association underscore company code is not used. Okay. So now, in this company code master data CDS show, I enabled the key and text property under the see here. So to get that uh, reflect in my CDS show, like where I am using it as a cube type, we need to write one annotation here. What is that annotation? At the right, object model dot foreign key association. So underscore company. So what exactly it means? So here there is a company code, you know, CD association is there. So if you refer this com RBUKRS from here to the CDSU, you will get the for, uh, like a key key definition. Okay. So whatever properties now we defined under this, uh, uh, you know, GIS made company code. Now those can be utilized. And those can be we can utilize under under this CDSU also. Now activate this one. Again, we will get one warning. So what is this warning again? So it is saying company code multiple markers. Here actually we need to use, here also we need to specify this company code. CDS at the end, whichever we are doing associations here, those associations to be maintained at the end of the CDS view. But it is saying a marker association come not available. Okay, you see association underscore company code is not available. So this warning message can be rectified by writing the underscore company code at the end. Okay, and let's save this one and let's look into the what was the next error message. So what is this in? Association company code not available. Okay, it's already available here. Just now activate simply. Hmm. Now the warning is gone. Okay, so the important points that uh, we need to uh, you know understand here is since we defined the key and text property in the underlying master data CDS, master data CDS view, now those can be utilized in our cube type CDS view by writing this foreign key relationship. Okay, association. And then when we are doing this foreign key association like this, then whatever this associate, you know, alias name, whatever you mentioned here on the association must be maintained at the end of the series view uh, in this fair, you know, association format. That is important. Now we activated and it was in active state. Now go to our uh, um, uh, theory. Um, just to go back theory uh, to the back in so that to refresh the screen what i can do again i can uh, select my query here from custom analytical query all since i already created i'm searching my custom analytical query set set one underscore q um, q ac docker ac docker so you see uh zero one is our cds view okay so in this cds if i go into field selection here there is no text field but this is a BUKRS whatever BUKRS company code is there this column itself will act as a key and text so let's check that it is working fine or not now select the company code here okay and then you know default uh, format as text and what I'm going to do now let's create a company code filter also just to show you one more option here so go to user input and multiple select values and then save as draft Now go to preview button. Now, uh, if we see here, so fiscal year is there, company code is there. For fiscal year, there is no F4 help coming. But when I select the company code, you see for the company code, now we have a key and description. So how I am able to achieve it? By defining the key and text property at master data CDSU level. Now we have the key and the text property also here uh, f4 help also is coming input help we call as an input help also coming here and if i execute data for 2023 under the company code column you see by default the text is displaying now if i want to display key and text both here select the company code column go to display you see now id and description column also is enabled now if i click on id and description now i can see key and you know description and if i want to see only key simply select the column and select select the column first and then go to display and id only so key only so like this you can swap between the key and text property from the analytical query okay custom analytical query 
so this is how it is now uh, in this session what we learned how to uh, get the f4 selection input uh, selection with key and text and also how to uh, enable key and text property uh, for the individual columns now whatever we learn is uh, via the custom cds view but sap by default giving many uh, standard cds views okay for company code no need to uh, i no need to create a new cds view with uh, you know for this for company code because sap already given one standard cds view for this that is nothing but i company code if i go to this if i can directly consume this i company code you know uh, cds view in my cds view to get the key and text property okay let's see how i can do it so but that association is common wherever uh, you know if you want this key and text property for company code then you need to do the association with the standard uh, cds view instead of custom so what i'm going to do i'm deleting this association or else uh, simply what i can do copy paste copy it paste into new instead of our deal reworking so association to i underscore company code as underscore company code projection on rbu cares if you want you can change it could be like this uh, and company code and remove the first one because we are already uh, using the standard one so i am using this um so nothing no errors are there because this i company code in the i underscore company code cds view sap already defined all these tags you know for the key element text element and everything so you know not similarly you see there are multiple associations available for uh, other fields also for example country in my uh, customer analytical query if i bring country column where is my country here country 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 is not here let's go one step back refresh select again customer analytical query and go for this chat chat one underscore q ac token Zero one. I think I have to use it because our example is with zero one. So let's take zero one and go to field selection. Where is country column here? Country must be there. Let's check country. Let's say country country is is not there. Okay. Then let's go to the back end. AC Toka. Okay, country column is not there. Okay. Uh, now in my I underscore company code uh, master company code CDS view, I have country column also. If I want to bring this country column into my CDS view, simply what I can do company code dot. So uh, the associated column from his country. So I can bring country. Okay, so now for this country also, I need key and text. So how I can enable key and text for this? So in order to enable key and text for this country, again you need to perform association with the country master data. Okay, so how I can do the country association here? Association to I underscore country as underscore country on projection come on projection dot uh, projection means and uh, the fields within our cds view okay so what is the column country is equal to underscore association association means alias name of my uh, i underscore country cds view dot country okay now i can write a foreign key relationship here and at the rate object model dot associate foreign key for foreign key association underscore country okay so that's it Mm, and i told you right whenever you are doing this foreign query associations then it is must to uh, make sure uh, we add it in the end of the cds view uh, the association name so that it will remove the warnings from our cds view activate now we have a new column called country in my cds view and this country is enabled with the key and text property 
okay now go to this uh, um, custom let query go back one step and try to reopen when i try to re reopen it will refresh uh, you know the semantics here everything go to field selection and uh, here let me see you see country region key column is there i'm selecting that one too i'm going to display and uh, selecting country a section and by default uh, i want to display it as a text first uh, and then if needed i will uh, um, add key also and then save draft now go to the preview button now select the 23 data enter so now i am trying to drill down my data with the country so simply on the country column i am drilling down on the row section now i am seeing the country text here and if i want to enable key and text for this simply uh, select here and go to display okay. uh, id and description id and description so it was enabled okay and from here also right click and go for you know display yeah, uh, from here also you can do it and if you want to apply filter simply right click here go to filter and select filter value and you can uh, apply the filter on the country for example i and only click on ok then uh, india filter will be applied on the data set okay i hope it is clear so uh, instead of creating our own custom cds views for the master data first try to utilize the um, master data views given by sap and if uh, does master data views are not available for our requirement then we can go for the creation of custom uh, you know master data cds views uh, and then consume them in the our view by enabling the key and text property okay i hope it is clear mm -hmm.